Hey guys, it's me Fluttershy BG again with another video and let me tell you something. That's right, I'm playing Baptiste again, but this time it's gonna be different. That's right. I'm gonna play weapon power. Why? Because fuck my teammates. Honestly, I think CP is better, but hey, I'm forced to play weapon power here. Otherwise we're just gonna get fucked. Alright. It's pretty much the same thing. When you go on CP, you go for a spell fire and a broken bait. You apply mortal wounds, you secure your damage. What do you do with weapon power? It's pretty much the same thing. You go for mortal wounds and you secure your damage. So instead of getting a spell fire and a poison, I mean poison, and broken mid, you go for a poison shift and then you go for a bonsai. And literally, Baptiste's perk is gonna do the rest. Make yourself extremely tanky. And enemies will not be able to deal with you. And what the fuck? I'm lagging. Alright. Time to do this. We have the advantage here. Looks like a Baron and Fortress are not trying to contest the jungle. Huge mistake because they actually have early game. Alright, so all right, it looks like Arden knows what he's doing. So he's helping me attack. Alright, I have my banner. Bruh, really? Why do you have to punch that? I was gonna steal that. With my banner, and this guy just made it perfectly for Sky. Oh my god, this guy got the minion again. Okay, I got that. He made it like so he, she could take that. Okay. I'm gonna have to take this guy first. Because this guy is not gonna let me get close to that guy. Arden, what the fuck are you doing? Why is this guy not blocking any damage? Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, this clan actually went weapon power. He's gonna ha have to start building some defense because if he doesn't get defense, how the hell am I gonna survive the sky? You know, sky in 3v3 is extremely annoying, but if Arden can help me out and I can get fed real quick, sky is not gonna be a problem. No matter how you might think that fucking sky is overpowering 3v3s, she's not that strong. She's not that strong on communication. She's only strong against com with comps. And look at this. Oh my god, this guy is here too. Alright, we can kill this guy. We need this trade. Let's go. Ah, no, I got the kill. Okay, that's fine by me. She's super low, but uh, I don't have boots. I don't have anything. I'm just gonna take this instead. I don't like the jewel pick. A CP. I think weapon power is better. She can just jump into Baron and Baron has to get away. And then I can go CP. I can have poke like a mage. So far Jewel is doing pretty good. She hasn't died to Baron yet. That fortress is going to be a problem. He's going to get on my face. He's going to cut my healing which is annoying. And he's gonna block my ace. And I need to get on Sky's face, but if Fortress is on my way, it's gonna be kind of annoying. I'm gonna get my Storm Crown. No. You. I have said this so many times, you don't need a Storm Crown on 3v3, but Baptiste is a hero that is really good with it. Because, um. It's, it's cheap, and Baptiste gets a lot of use with the cooldown. So it's a cheap item that gives you damage and cooldown. I'm gonna harass this guy because he's weak. Okay, he uses flask. Amazing trade. Okay, kind of amazing trade because I, I'm half held now. But hey, I made that guy flask and I still have mine. Now let's go for that guy. Of course he has a flask, bro. Everyone has a flask every time I want to kill them. Alright, we make that guy flask. A good trade. Alright, can we steal this? Well, I uh, got that minion back. I'm gonna need some boots and now I need mobility. Now the storm crown with Baptiste. The storm crown is a really good item for heroes that have great utility. For example, Tony deals a lot of damage with weapon power. But if you get a storm crown, not only does he get some damage, but all his utility becomes insane. Same thing goes for Baptiste. Specifically his B and his ultimate, they have both great utility. Tony has utility in all his abilities. So yeah, Stormcrown, I always recommend it on heroes that don't 
that actually have a lot of utility. No fucking way she got through that. Oh my god, okay, Julie's doing work now. That's a nice ult. Oh yeah. Lo I was having this conversation with one of my friends, he was telling me that the strong crown is a good item on Taka. It's not a good item on Taka. It's, it's absolutely trash on Taka. And he was giving me this argument that assassins need the strong crown. No, assassins don't need the strong crown. They don't. You playing Koska, you will do a lot of damage if you don't have the Storm Crown. The Storm Crown is just for mobility, honestly. If you don't need a lot of mobility, you can just enhance your damage right away and be a piece of shit. And if you need some cooldown, you can get an Aftershock. That's the item that I would recommend for Assassins. No, but if you're playing like Anka, then yeah, you need a Storm Crown. But Taka doesn't need a Storm Crown. His abilities get empowered by... Uh, they have insane ratios for damage and CP. So you, so yeah, so you have to think about it when you're using the Storm Crown because not all heroes need it. Oh my God! Look at this old. This guy is dead. All right. Look at how beautiful I dodged that. This is it. This is it. This is it. She's dead. Ah, this guy is dead. Oh my god, Joel, where are you? Oh my god, look at this Joel, bro, what the fuck? Come on, you have to kill that guy. Bro, we killed the fucking Sky, why was this guy not attacking? Like, he just fucking saw me. Right there. She knew fucking Baron was gonna pop out, and she did not show up. She could have ulted both of them, and we could get a double. But alright, whatever. It's my fault for relying on randoms too much. So yeah, I have a Storm Crown with Baptiste. It gives me great utility. It makes me extremely toxic early game. And it's not an item that gives me a lot of damage. But thanks to my perk, I can compensate for the lack of having base damage. For both CP and weapon power. But alright, now it's time to get a Poison Shift. And start doing more with my basic attacks. But pretty much, you can carry yourself... Just using your perk and spamming your B every time you need to lock down a hero. And that's basically how I would recommend playing Baptiste. Look at this. Oh my god, I'm lagging. Fucking damn it, bro. Okay, I'm... Uh, oh shit, I'm almost dead. Alright, that was super close. I almost died, but thankfully I survived. I have my flask. Alright. A lot of people like to build Baptiste's Blast Cannon. It's, it's good, but it's not really that great. You get a uh, jump in, you immediately fucking die. You wanna be tanky, you wanna be able to get on their faces. So you can spam your ultimate in front of them. And so you can get your uh, empowerment faster because your basic attacks and your abilities help you get your empowerment. So if you can get really personal, you can get your empowerment almost all the time. As CP and with weapon power, obviously you get it extremely fast. Alright. Also, if the match goes for too long, you can change your oh, uh, Storm Crown or Spellfire if you go on weapon power or for a Clockwork if you go on CP. It will make you get your ultimate faster, which is one of the reasons why I believe having cooldown right away with Baptiste is super important. As soon as you get your ultimate, you can spam that all the time. I'm gonna go for this guy. Now this guy is dead. Alright. I'm gonna give you another tip. We're fighting against Sky. And Sky is a bitch in 3v3. We all know she's a bitch. You can literally counter the sky with just one trick. Now my Baptiste is a tanky build. So I'm just gonna get a shout. Once I get a shout, the sky is gonna be useless. You'll see. What the hell? Why the minions are not following me? This game is stupid. Alright. I'm gonna get a shout and the sky is gonna be completely useless. I'm gonna be able to just walk into her face. I'm gonna go for this guy real quick. 
There we go. Now that he's weakened, now we can go for this guy. Alright. Look at look at Fortress. He's just plays. I'm gonna ult. That was a really bad ult to be honest. They're playing very defensive now. I like the commitment from Sky. But I don't like it that much because every time she jumps in, the Arden is gonna use the Vanguard on her and not on me. Alright, time to go for the turret. Whoa. I need this jewel to poke this guy. Why are you jumping on her ass, bro? We have a CP jewel. I need her to poke. She pokes. If someone gets close, I use my B. This is the play. That's the play that we're doing right now. I'm relying on this jewel to poke them, but she's really not that aggressive. She she has a shard glass, she's, so she's not going for utility either. But her ults are toxic. So that's the only thing I'm concerned about right now is that most of her DPS comes from her ultimate. And I really don't like playing CP that way. I like to have utility so I can be annoying and have some decent ultimates. Alright. I'm gonna start attacking this guy. For that ult. Oh my god, amazing. There we go, I have a shout. Sky doesn't do anything to me. Look at the damage she deals. She has nothing else but to run away. There we go. Now I need the I need a bonsa. Once I have a bonsa, I'm gonna secure my damage. And it's gonna be very easy to like kill them. You really don't need that much damage with Baptiste because your empowerment does the job for you. Empowerment compensates for your damage. I mean, it compensates for the lack of not having a base damage item like a Sorrow Blade or a Shire Glass. I was expecting Jewel to take it, but okay. Alright, it has been 12 minutes and we haven't been able to take that turret. We need to take that right away. We need to take their first turret. We have been taking too long because Jewel doesn't know how to poke. Oh, look at the damage. What a bitch, he only did it to get rid of my free block. Right, I'm gonna go for this guy first. I'm gonna ult. Oh my god, that Baron was not expecting that. Let's go. That was so toxic. L I literally make him walk into Jules old. Okay, this is it. Finally, we can take this goddamn turret because I'm tired of this shit. I'm gonna use my B on her. Oh, look, Jules, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop. There's nothing there. Finally, get my bones out. Once I get the bones, it's GG's. I'm gonna get an Atlas for that Baron because he's doing some damage. If I get close to him, I want I want to be able to like debuff him. So he uh, he's not gonna have another option but to run away from me. All right. Hmm. Looks like we're gonna engage here. All right, time to go for Baron. That was a nice stun from Jewel. Oh my god, this fortress spamming shit. Look at Jewel. No, that's that's Arden. Oh, he used it. What are you doing, Jewel? Get the fuck away from there. No, why are you jumping? Oh my god, bro. I'm Baptiste. Play defensive. I right, time to kill this bitch. I'm tired of your bullshit. Look at that damage she does. She does nothing. Come on, bro. Get over here. Now you're next, bro. Let's go. This is how you play weapon power, Baptiste. You become tanky. You don't need base damage with this guy. You just need the debuff items. It, it, it's kind of like Romja. It's the same thing as Romja, actually. Same build. Go for a Storm Crown. Because Romja has a lot of utility. His ultimate. And then he has his A. And then you go for a... Go for a Poison Shift so you can get healing and you get some additional healing. And then you go for a Bonsa to secure the damage. So most of the damage that Grumpja deals is that Grumpja deals is from his abilities. 
And then with the Storm Crown, he has a little burst that makes him extremely annoying. And then he has his ultimate that he can just spam and secure kills. Same thing with Baptiste, same thing with Tony. That's why Storm Crown is really great for them. Remember, if you there are some heroes that really don't need it. So pay close attention to that. Try to experiment with the heroes. See which one does better with the Storm Crown, which one doesn't. Alright, this is it bro, this is it, look at this, oh my god, I'm lagging, alright, I'm back. Alright, let's fucking go! Tired of your shit! And you too, you're not going anywhere. Let's go. Arden's sacrifice was not in vain, that was an amazing, amazing ultimate from Arden. They literally cannot do anything to me anymore. This is honestly the easiest way to play Baptiste. And a lot of people just don't understand how to play Baptiste, honestly. They think he's like a jungler or a weapon power hero, like a warrior. Baptiste is not a warrior, he's just gonna get overwhelmed. You're gonna have so you're gonna struggle so much trying to keep up. So you have to focus on utility and have some decent damage. If you go full damage, you're just gonna die extremely fast. So that's why you have to make yourself tanky. Alright, look at this, I'm so fast, I do so much damage. She even has a shroud, <laughs> what? For what? That's not gonna do anything for her. If you're fine against a CP Jewel, you're better off just going for a husk. Look, look at that. Let's just fucking all oh, chuck the ult bro, let's just fucking waste them. Oh my god, look at the damage I do, bro. I couldn't kill her. That's fine, we won. There's nothing they're gonna do. Look how fucking fast we took that shit, bro. GG, that's how you play about T's, bro. Fucking sky bullshit. I am even made the fortress AFK. And then Baron, pff, he couldn't do anything. <laughs>